This is the Volvo EX30 twin motor performance. And as you can see, it's fully electric. Let's try that again. Oh. Ah, there, finally got it right. Now here's a few things you need to know about the car. The car has a Harman Kardon soundbar. It's got a very big iPad or touch infotainment system. It does not have a speedometer. In fact, most of the interior bits, including the seats and of course the door panels and the dashboard is made with upcycled materials. In terms of power, it has 315 kilowatts, which gives you 543 Newton meters of torque. It does a zero to 100 kilometers in 3.6 seconds. The takeoff of this car is really fast. Uh, the range is claimed at 460 kilometers, but I have to be honest, I didn't get anything close to 400 uh, on a full recharge. So it comes with a key that literally has no button. So this key sort of senses when I'm walking to the car or walking away from the car to lock, which is great. The glove box is a button. <laughs> Everything is minimalistic in the car. In fact, some of the buttons here to open and close the rear windows, I use the same buttons as the front windows. So I just click rear to roll down the rear windows. And then if I wanna use my windows, I click rear there to stop the rear and then I can roll down my window. So a lot of the buttons here work more than once. To do the mirrors as well, you gotta go into this infotainment system and then you can use the same buttons that you change music tracks with or radio stations with to sort out your rear view mirrors. This EX30, as you see it in the spec, costs a million and 15,000 Rand, while the starting price of the same car is around 995,000 Rand. Yeah, that's it. That covers my time in the Volvo EX30.